Oh, yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> Look at her. You people like story too much. They love eh? story time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you eh? comfy? I think I am. Okay, you want the little puff? No, it's okay. Okay. Can you people see my face? I think so. Can you see his cute face? Can they see your pretty face? So what is it? You people like story too much. Eh? All right, guys. So a lot of you have been asking for our How We Met story. Yeah. We did it back in 2020. That was when we did it? That was when we started. Wow. The end of 2020. So for those of you Farmington who have been rocking with us since the beginning, we started the end of 2020, but so we're doing an updated one so you guys don't have to scroll back. Yeah, because a, a lot of people, it, it, there's been, which we're grateful for. We've, 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 uh, we've gained so many followers on, mm -hmm. on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere, on Instagram. Farmington is growing, guys. We you guys are so it. amazing, but you people say, how did you meet? Every time, how did you meet? How did you meet? This is how I met this fine girl. <laughs> And how this fine girl met me too. <laughs> and, and action. action. <laughs> okay, so how did we meet, Bambi? So I met this fine girl um, on my first trip to America. So the first time I ever came to America, mm -hmm. I came for a music concert. I was invited to America for a fundraise concert mm -hmm. to support my prison reform project back at home in Nigeria. So after, after the concert, you know, um, I was like, how am I going to leave America? It's my first time in America. I say, ah, I must shoot a music video before I go back home because I want to go back home and show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show everybody that I came to America, you know, so in between all of that not knowing that her mom because then i didn't know you um i didn't know that she I, i've never called her by by her name but let me just for the sake of this story because i always call her mom but for the sake of this story mrs venice <laughs> it sounded it sounds it's, weird even it sounded it. weird in my mouth anyways but for the sake of the story so she, her mom was part of you know the team that supported my concert she was yeah. part of the organizer she she had her art displayed during the concert and all of those she, things like randomly happened to know the person who organized bringing him here yes so through that connection he met my mom you know and when we were about to uh, before my concert her mom is always tagging everybody on facebook to invite them for my concert so one of the days we were just randomly sitting down. I was going through all the tags. You know, I was like, who is she tagging? You know, because me and uh, uh, G Rugged, my publicist that came with me then, you know, we're just going through. Then I stumbled on your, on, on your handle and I just clicked and I saw on your my face. Facebook page, right? Yes. I saw your face. I was like, ah. Without missing word, I told G Rugged, I said, this is my wife. Guys. G Rugged, my friend said, Lambo, you didn't say your girlfriend. <laughs> or I think she's pretty. You didn't say, oh, a girl you just want to quickly go and look for. <laughs> Wife. You, you just jump all this, you know? So when I found out I was going to shoot the music video, I said, I want this girl. But then how did I know uh, Mrs. Venice is your mom? I sat down on her page. I was going through all her pictures. I was watching all her pictures. Then I saw um, Mrs. Venice. I was like, what is Mrs. Venice doing in your pictures? That was when I, I, I kept seeing her. Then it just dawned on me. I looked at the, the name and everything. And I was like, oh, that's her mom. I said, that's her mom. OK. You know, so when it was time for me to, <laughs> to shoot the music video, uh -huh. We reached out to her, you know. I personally told her, I said, I would like, please, can you help me talk to your daughter to be in my music video? <laughs> you know what she said? She said, okay, but this is her handle. You tell her to yourself. You remember? Mm -hmm. So I sent her a DM. I'll take the story from there because <laughs> that was when I should have known that this girl has potential of sharp mouth in the future. 
But continue the story. Potential <laughs> sharp mouth. <laughs> so he DM'd me on Instagram, and I'm like, who the hell is this? Like, it like pops up, and I'm just like, what? Who's Lamb Lambo Guinea? I'm like, okay. And so mom's like, I'm like, wait a minute, mom, is this the person that you're working with for the concert? And she's like, oh, Lamborghini, yeah. Oh, eh. Like, she's like going on about like how nice of a guy he is, isn't that? And I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. Like, what does he want? What music video? He's asking me to be in his music video. And mom was like, oh, he's an amazing artist. He has a great mission. Um, he, he comes from Nigeria and he really wants you to be in his music video. So I told him to contact you personally. And I was just like, all right, well, I'm not gonna do it. Like, I don't know who mm. he is. I don't know any of his music. Because I'm not Chris Brown. No. I said, <laughs> if he's not Chris Brown or Future, I don't care. <laughs> like, I literally don't care. I was like, all right, let me know when Future wants me to be in his music video, mom. And she's like, yeah, but he's so much better. Like, you know, he's, he's a great person. You don't even know if like Future or Chris Brown are like good people, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I don't Th want to do thanks, it. Thanks, Mama. I thanks, Mama. Like, I see what you did. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So I said, I just like, un I left him unseen. Or is it? Yeah, on scene. Like, you know, when you somebody reads the message and it just says scene. Yeah, she's, I saw that she said it. And they don't respond. And, and uh, what is it called? But later on, I sent you the song. Yeah. So finally. She finally, I, yeah, so let me go to that part. So finally, yeah. after like a couple of days, he pinged me again, or I think I just reached back out to be like, hey, sorry I didn't answer from the other day. I was busy at work, even though I wasn't. And I was like, um, I thought about it, and um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll be available. Just let me know the date. I'll double check to see if I can take it off work, blah, blah, blah. I'm already setting it up for possible cancellation. So I sent out the song. <laughs> And then the day before the shoots, we went to our place to, to pick check out, like, the, costume. the costumes and everything. Yeah. And then I asked her a question. I said, have you listened to the song? The day before. The day before the shoot. -o. I said, have you listened to the song? She said, um, say it with your sharp mouth. <laughs> say it. <laughs> say it. Say it with your sharp mouth. Did you listen? She didn't listen to the song. I didn't listen to even the first. I couldn't even tell you what the beat was. I couldn't tell you the possible name of it. I couldn't tell you a lyric, a single lyric in the song. She didn't listen to the song, guys. She didn't listen to the song. But anyways, <laughs> we did the video and that was when eventually she gave me a phone number. And from the moment- He was she like, I love, let's not make it look like I just gave my phone number. He was like, I'd love to stay in touch with you. He was so sweet then, right? He was so timid and like sweet. He was like, I'd love to stay in, and spoke like really good English. I was so surprised. He spoke English then. He was like, wow. I'd, love, I'd love to stay in touch with you. Um, I think you were very nice. I was trying to sound and, American. Um, da -da 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 -da. And yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, oh, okay. Like, you know, he was a nice guy. I was sick the whole music video. So I noticed like he was just very like, hey, are you okay? Should we take like a five minute? You know, do you need anything? I'll have my assistant run out to get you like, gin I told him I, I like ginger ale. It's good for your tummy. And I noticed that he was just a nice guy. So I was like, okay, he's here for another week. He was like, before I go back, maybe if you have some time, I'd love to maybe hang out or get to explore Connecticut, right? And I was just like, all right, he seems nice enough. So I was like, all right, here's my number. Like, it wasn't a big deal to me. I was seeing someone else at the time. I just looked at him as like a job. I was an act I'm an actress, a model. So I was like, that's the credit. That's all that it is for yeah, me. Yeah, true, which I, I respected that. But then when she gave me the number, I saved the number as peace, my wife. <laughs> I saved the number. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how our name and is still I saved. And when I found out, guys, that he saved it that way, I ripped him a new one. I was like, if you don't remove, that was my phone, don't worry. Okay. If you don't remove that as my name and just put Takara or T or something normal, I wing whatever. We can't talk. Yeah, you said you were going to stop talking to me. He so was I, like, okay, I'll change it. I said I'll change it. But then it's my phone. He never did. But I never did because I thought it was prophetic. <laughs> So I left it like that, and that's how it remained <laughs> till today. To today, that's how I never changed it. Until the day I die, I'm not going to change it. It's still like that. But then, you know, it was just beautiful. From the moment we, you know, we started talking, um, 
you know, I just felt something very strong inside of me was special. I've never felt like that before. And it was a, it was a no brainer, you know, and even, even when I went back home, but I'll give her some credit. What? I'll give her some credit. Wait, wait, before I give you that credit, let me, I forgot to put this part. What? So even, even when, um, she was no longer in a relationship because apparently... Because it was like phasing out. Yeah. Was, I knew it wasn't right. It was just like, you're, you know, you're in that stage of like the end of a relationship where you know it should end, but like you're trying to make it work. Yeah. So that was where I was at. So it wasn't like, it was like cheating. Which she refused like to tell me. Oh, she yeah. refused. She, she kept... Pl- yeah, like even when I ended it with the guy, I didn't tell him. She so didn't I was tell just me. Like, no, I'm not interested. Like, I don't want him to think, oh, now I can make her peace my wife. So I was like, peace. See, she didn't tell me. But anyways, <laughs> oh man, I should have noticed. These are signs. That signs and wonders that I... That <laughs> <laughs> These were signs and wonders that I should have, I should have kept in my head. <laughs> Give me my cap. Anyways, what I was going to say is, you know... You see, I forgot what I wanted to say. What? Uh, hey, I forgot to... When? No, I remember. One of the things that scared me, so I was going through a picture, I saw a dad, tall, handsome. I saw a younger brother, tall, ripped apart. <laughs> yeah, that one, he goes to the gym, all his, you can see his muscles everywhere. Mm-hmm. I stumbled on a picture of who she was dating tall i looked at myself look at me now me i'm like two by two i'm a, I'm a noodle i'm just a little bit above the ground <laughs> <laughs> i'm well grounded he's this little like little baby noodle he's like hey i'm bambi <laughs> look at me and my short self well grounded i was like maybe i'm not this girl speckle but then you know, I just followed my heart and... And you wouldn't go away. And I, you know, and then when I had the opportunity to come back, because I went back home. Yeah. I went back to Nigeria after the video shoot. I posted the video everywhere for, so that people would know I came to America. And then I had the opportunity because at that time, I wanted to, you know, further pursue my music career, my prison reform internationally, you know. So I had the opportunity to come back. When I came back, it was it was a no-brainer so but before i came back eventually she told me that she has broken up you remember mm-hmm. i will never forget the day this girl called me at night too and said i think i'm in love with you <laughs> As- <laughs> he was like what well, i was i i was sleeping Wait, hold on, hold on. it was around 3 what a.m I said, what, what did, did you say? say? He said, no, go back to bed. I said, I said go okay, back go to bed. go back to bed, bye. I said, which bed? Go back to which bed? What did you say? <laughs> I think I'm in love with you. <laughs> and then she goes, I just told my parents that I'm in love with you. And I think I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Somebody called 911. <laughs> this girl has ripped my heart <laughs> apart. He was like, what? I said, you were crying i literally started crying sincerely i cried you know but then again market head i didn't know you were a sharp mouth Hmm? it was so special you're so special baby don't cry your eyes you look like you're about to cry this is youtube i'm not about to cry at all I know you very well. No, you don't know me at all because you're saying i'm gonna cry and i'm not even the slightest bit emotional do you want me to start crying for you, Pappy? <laughs> you don't. So I think it's me that is about to cry, so I'm trying to put it. Let's protect this emotional thing that is happening here. <laughs> hey, man, man, trust me, guys. It's you know, and I think one of the one of the best things about um, our relationship also is the fact that you know we we did not let anybody. I repeat, anybody you know, determine the rhythm of our relationship. We decided our rhythm by ourselves and we are dancing to it one day at a time. I just love staring at you, Bambi.
yeah i'm looking guys pay attention just in case the water drops and i'm i'm it's talking not gonna to you drop, now. guys i just love that meat <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's just um uh, and i'm gonna say this since the day i met this girl right here man my life literally my life literally transformed i i can't even explain i can't even explain how you know how you're you're trying to you're, you're trying to you know fix a puzzle and then that last piece just comes in into it and everything just looks clean clear from the day I met her, yeah, she was the last possible missing because every other thing happening after I met her now is just, it's just the you know continuity of the Bye. journey. I love you. I love you too. And I feel the same way about you, Bambi. Are you sure? Mhm. Mm I do. So no more pranking me. No, Bambi, always pranking you. No more prank. Always. Prank. You'll be a good girl from now henceforth. No. You eat pepper soup. No. You eat gare. No, hell no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I hope this video has been able to help or not. Uh... <clears throat> I hope this video, <laughs> what is going on here now? <laughs> I hope this video has not confused. See, you, now I'm confused. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I know. that, Guys, that's our, how we met. That's how we <laughs> updated how we met. You people, bye. <laughs> I don't want to give you lipstick lips, Bambi. It's okay. Give me lipstick lips. I will walk around with it. Why is your eyes so pretty? Bambi. Hmm? I'm looking at them now. Fine girl. Bambi. You want food? Yes. What are we going to eat? Pizza. <sighs> That's what I'll eat. <laughs> you just sighed. Oh my God, the camera's still rolling, Bambi. Who's going to stop it? They can stop it. Because me, I'm so comfortable. Well, you guys, wait, do you guys, guys, do you guys see how so we are? I am so comfy. When you get in this thing, guys, you absolutely cannot get out. Peace. <laughs> you go stop it. You go stop it. <laughs> Count your blessings. Life is full of blessings. Thank God for his mercy. We pray. Waking up is a miracle Open your eyes to the sunshine Brush your teeth and wash your face Step aside and live your life What a day to be alive Manifesting all of my greatness With my mouth me testify To all of your goodness me sing Thank God for mercy Counting my blessings So many lessons Everything I do by grace By grace